I really thought we were about to hit the bug fixing and polishing stage with the 1.21 update, and then they drop this snapshot, which is probably going to be a fan favorite between this and the armor. 1.21 is now the wolf update. So, a wolf spawn egg spawns the same wolf we're all used to that we find in the taiga biome, except now this is known as a pale wolf. It has a specific type, and this is the corresponding biome for it. However, as we venture into other biomes, now we have different types of wolves. So wolves have now had their ocelot to cat moment. And if you go into a forest biome, now you might find a woods wolf. Make sure to like the video for new wolf types. If you're interested in spawning one in, they don't have spawn eggs corresponding to each type yet, so you'll have to do a summon command, and you just change the variant depending upon what kind of wolf. Anyway, we can tame it if we want. And now we have a lovely pet woods wolf. But that's not all. There are so many more that we have to go through. This is an ashen wolf, which you can now find in snowy taiga biomes, which I'm gonna be Mandela affecting here, but I'm pretty sure you could find what is now pale wolves here in the past. Anyway, we can feed him some bones, and then he will become a friend, not as easily as, uh, that was totally random, I don't think it has anything to do with the wolf types as to how many bones it takes, but here we go, another one. It is 100% gonna be an advancement to tame every wolf type before, unless I die in the hardcore series, before it's over, that's gonna be a new advancement. It's 100%. This is the black wolf and it spawns in old growth pine biomes, not to be confused with old growth spruce because we have another variant that spawns there. And the reason why I have a few of them is because these spawn in packs of two to four. I guess you get different clusters of how many they spawn in depending upon some of the variants. We can tame one though. And then I love the contrast between the black and the red. Always a good color combo. Right, so as I mentioned, old growth spruce biomes have a different type of wolf. This is the chestnut variant. And again, they spawn in groups of two to four in the biome. And we can have another friend here. Okay, eventually. He was kind of resistant at first. Nobody can resist my charms. You want to be my friend. Of course you do. Um, okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, I've got a question, and I could easily Google this, but instead I'm asking you so I can learn in a while in the comments on this video. Do wolves actually exist in real life in jungles? Because this is a rusty wolf, and it spawns in sparse jungles. And I'm just curious if that's actually a real thing, or if we're just trying to give some variety for where you can find wolves in Minecraft specifically. But anyway, here they are. They're really cool. I like the variety of the different types of wolf textures that we're getting, and one of you is going to become my friend before we move on to the next ones, which also I think the next ones have a really cool textures. These also spawn in groups of two to four, much like the past couple, and here's the command if you wanted to see. Now for some really cool textures. This is the spotted wolf. You can find it in Savannah Plateau biomes, and it spawns in bigger groups, four to eight, I assume because it's trying to mimic, like, these kind of look like wild dogs, and they would be pack animals, and they're super duper gnarly hunters, and so any peaceful animals that spawn in the area are going to get absolutely destroyed. But boy, do they look really, really cool. And one of you is gonna be my friend. Definitely don't try to tame a wild dog at home. Not that that would really work at home because you would probably be out on a safari somewhere. But anyway, one of my favorite of the new types. However, we do have another really cool one. All right, so here we have the striped wolf. It looks kind of like a striped hyena, which I assume is what they're going for, and you can find it in wooded badlands. Here's the command if you wanted to spawn one in. And again, probably sort of a, you know, you're not gonna have much luck taming a, a real hyena, I don't think, but in our case, man, one bone, eager to be my friend. I told you, they just, they, they can't resist. It can't resist. And we're gonna have to definitely end up taming one in the hardcore all advancements, but. Here we go, another one of the cool ones. Between this and the spotted, probably my top two, but we still have one more. Last but not least is the elusive snowy wolf, which is apparently very, very rare to find in grove biomes, and it walks alone. It's a lone wolf, and it blends in with the surroundings, perhaps difficult to see as it's camouflaged. But we've definitely found one legitimately for real, and it's gonna be 
my friend. Didn't even take that many bones. All right, buddy. And there we've completed the advancement of taming every single different type of wolf. The advancement that doesn't exist yet, but will inevitably definitely exist. I couldn't just leave it there. We had to bring them all together for our dog army of every single type of variant, baby and adult. We've got the striped, the spotted, rusty, woods, chestnut, snowy, black, ashen, and of course, the OG, the pale. You started this all. Okay. Those who voted for the armadillo, you're eating good tonight. I'm very curious if it weren't for the armadillo vote and the wolf farmer, if this would still be happening in 1.21? Like, I can't imagine the only reason this happened is because the armadillo was voted for. Maybe it accelerated the timeline, but you know, this already kind of happened with cats. So it was probably bound to happen at some point, but everybody who voted for the armadillo can say, you know what? We told you so. We told you this was going to be the right vote <laughs> versus the other options. Look, look at what we have now. So, man, look at this. Awesome. What a great update. Minecraft 1.21. The wolf update. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for anything more. Like, is there going to be more features? Or are we now entering bug fixing? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I guess we'll be seeing you most likely in the hardcore series. All right. See you later.